And what is that? Well, uh, I have a uh, chocolate Labrador Retriever who seems to want to use the couch as a uh, scratching post and uh, constantly rubs her body up against it back and forth, uh, relieving herself of the painful itch that she has. Outstanding. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what the effect of that is on the fabric. We'll pull up both cushions. We're going to show you what the back of one cushion looks like. It's never been exposed to anything. And what the area is that, uh, that might be a little bit better for you folks, that the dog runs up against. Okay, so there's the contrast. These are the oils from the dog's fur. And what we're going to do is first run a quick test on the fabric. Go ahead, Calvin, and hold that camera, and I'll run the, the dust test. Remember, everybody, the cleaning process, you got to get the dust out first. Okay. We'll see what kind of oils are in there and dust. All right. Substantial. Substantial. So the first step is to go ahead and give this a good vacuuming. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. And then we're going to go ahead and... We're going to clean one of these with the mitt system. I'll show you as I do it, and we'll let it dry, and we'll compare the two and see how well it does. Over and out. Start, okay, touch. beautiful. We already started. Okay, guys. That's that started, right? Yeah, okay. we're good. Okay. I, I vacuumed this cushion out. I didn't touch this cushion at all. It took a little while to get the dust out of here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this cushion with the Clean Safe Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning Product and the Clean Mitt. And uh, we're going to let it dry. I've got other work to do in the house. I'll clean the carpets. And then, wanna, and then we'll come back here and we'll see what the contrast is. So we'll go ahead and submit the mitt, which has already been rinsed out, into the uh, cleaning solution. Give it a good rinse. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go over the fabric. Now you've seen a lot of videos where I've had my customers try it. I just want to give you an idea of um, how it should be done, and this is how you get to do it once you start using the mitt. Okay, so that's that's pretty thoroughly gone over. I can see the fabric is evenly damp in all areas. Get the piping. So I'll take the mitt. What is the piping? The piping is this this right here, this area right there. Okay, right. for our viewing audience. Yep. Rinse it out. This is hot water, guys. Put it back in the cleaning solution. Bring it out. Get the other side. Ambidextrous, guys. I know. It's impressive. <laughs> so a cushion might take you two or three minutes to do. Especially a cushion that's been this is in this is in the family room. This is the this area gets all the use. It's a family of three with a with a dog, which is like another three. <laughs> Six. Especially a Labrador, because Labradors Labradors have uh, very very oily hair, and uh, they're water dogs, so that's a natural oil. And you can see what the oil does when it gets on the cushion. Now in a situation like this, your kit will include a spray bottle and what I would recommend is to pre-spray this. Put some of the cleaning solution in the, pre in the spray bottle mist this area so it's damp and stays damp for five minutes and it helps to uh, loosen up the embedded oils and soils okay but I just wanted to see what kind of results we can get without doing the pre-spray and just using the cleaning solution with the mint water starting to change color it means I'm transferring soils onto this microfiber mitt now you might notice that there are no suds Suds come from detergent. This is a non-detergent, water-soluble degreaser. Where there's detergent, there's suds. Where there's suds and soap, there's residue. And when there's residue, there's resoil. Okay, because it's 
something that's been left on the fiber and fibers get particle bloating as a result of that and that's unhealthy it increases the amount of dust mites in the fabric and soiling is increased as well so going over it once I want to go over it one more time get the corners really well that's it. I'm going to set it up to dry. Lift up the cushion, set it up to dry, give this one final rinse. That's the color of the water. Just from that one cushion, it was heavily soiled, so I'll end up rinsing that water out and we'll come back and we'll compare that cushion to this cushion when it's dry and it'll probably take I would say a half hour for that to dry. Over and out. We're back. I'm with Calvin. We waited for this to dry. Actually, I did some cleaning upstairs with some carpets. And this cushion is not completely dry. Maybe a little bit darker because of the fact that it's not completely dry. And you can see the contrast between the one I cleaned and the one I didn't. Can Calvin get that best angle on that? You can maybe stand over here. Lighting really affects the way it looks. Now, what I thought I would do for you guys is show you how this would be cleaned if you were to hire a professional carpet and upholstery cleaning company. Okay, so I'm going to clean this cushion that way. You would start, they would start by putting a pre spray on the fabric. This pre spray, by the way, is the exact same pre spray that's in the Clean Safe carpet and upholstery product. So the fabric gets pre sprayed, it's allowed a dwell time. And then we're going to provide a little agitation with the mitt. Again, the mitt is going to take soils off. We know that. It already took the soils off of that cushion. But there's a step that I'm going to add, and that step is going to be cut water extraction. So we're going to extract the fabric and rinse the fabric with water. Keep in mind, there's no rinsing required with this product at all because the product doesn't have any soap in it. So this is kind of loosening up the soils that are on there. We know the mitt is grabbing the soils. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm just going to hit it again with a little more pre-spray. And we want to see, the reason for this is in the end we're going to do a comparison to see how much cleaner this one is then this one. Let me grab a tool, Calvin, you stay right there. Okay, this tool is a uh, upholstery rinsing tool. It's got a bead of water running through here. So you can see the water inside there. And that water is very, very hot. This is how your fabric should be cleaned if you hire a company. Unfortunately, most companies don't use a product that is non-soap. They use strong detergent, and even with a rinsing, they end up leaving detergent in the fabric, and the fabric ends up resoiling. The only thing coming out of this right here is water. Okay. Let me just get to this real fast. I don't want to take too much of your time. We try to keep the video short and sweet. Calvin just told me we're at three minutes. He runs a landscaping business, so he, he pays attention to details. So thanks, Calvin. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give this a really thorough rinse right here. I'm going to go in a couple different directions. So, I'm going to shut the water off and just dry it as much as I can. Okay, folks, compare the two. Which one's cleaner? I can tell you 
without a doubt that this one will be cleaner. But that comparison, I would have to say, is negligible. You could pay $200 to $300 to clean this sofa, or with that kit, we know it's a lot less. Thank you.